Hi, welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. Hey, everybody. Okay. So, uh, what what interests me about you was uh, years ago when I tried to get in the radio show was that you were a foodie, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah, I like food. I love food. Okay. So, um, you used to do a blog, but you stopped, right? Uh, why did you stop doing that? Uh, I don't know, lazy, I guess. I, hey. I did a lot, and like I kind of fell out of it, but uh, then I started doing it transferred over to the sick drummer and, and kind of fell behind on that too. So I guess I'm my own worst enemy. But I have tons of things cataloged and tons of things to talk about food destinations all over all over the US and, and some parts That's of right the up your alley, dude. as well. <laughs> yeah. I just need to you know, find motivation to do it. What's what's I saw a list recently of your uh, of your favorite foodie destinations. I wanna like to actually know what was like your worst uh, yeah. Maybe like your most overhyped or disappointing foodie experience. Hmm. It's kind of hard to think. What would be my worst experience? Mainly chains, overhyped chains. Hmm. I guess the big Texan wasn't all cracked up what it should be, but I didn't take the steak challenge. Right, right, yeah, yeah. You know, people go nuts over that place, but I, I thought it was just like some regular steak. Have you ever taken a food challenge? Yeah, it's not for me. I actually did once. Yeah. I got my name on the wall and it was enough forever because nice. it, it made me feel like shit for about a day and a half. Did you eat 50 Rutz Hot dogs? No, I ate like uh, <laughs> I ate like four and a half pounds of, of spicy noodles. Oh really? In oh in LA? In a Japanese restaurant in Rochester, New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I got I my little face on the wall, but that was it. It was oh, like... Oh cool. I know they do a ramen challenge in LA, this like super insane heat. Yeah, it was Not many people were able to do it. It was super hot, but it was actually the hardest part for me was not the heat. And it was it was um, was like it was so hot, like temperature hot. It was yeah. soup. Oh, you're really? trying to eat soup fast. Yeah, it's that's not, not an good. easy thing to eat fast. I, I ate three garbage plates in Rochester. You one, did really? In one day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, you were My hungry. friends thought I was crazy. You know, I was actually I have to say I'm gonna go on record that I'm actually disappointed by the garbage plate because yeah. I like the fact of getting all the food, but I kind of thought when you got a garbage plate, it was all combined together into like a sandwich. Oh, that would yeah, have been even a cool twist on it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. They make one, um, if you're ever around this area again, up in uh, Collinswood, they, they have this place called the Grease Truck. Oh, Collinswood uh, in, in Jersey? Yeah, you've been there? Near Collinswood Auction? No, no, that's Collinswood, uh, the other side of, like, I think it's central Jersey. Okay. This is Collinswood, New Jersey. It's like... Um, kind of near Camden? It's actually probably like 15 minutes from here, but that's a place yeah. called the Pop Shop. Right. And it has a sandwich called the Grease Truck, and it's basically like... A garbage plate on a bun. Oh, cool. It's got nice. hot dogs, hamburgers. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. It's like French the fries when you bring. Yeah. <laughs> Everything on it. Yeah. Good stuff. That's cool. Now, what did what um what um food experience did your bunghole find the most unpleasant? Uh, the chili competition in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Was, there was like 150 different chilies. Wow. You're sitting there, Gord, and you saw. And you ate all of them. Yeah, that's that's a tough thing to deal with. It's funny you say that because there's actually around here they have a, a chili fest. Yeah. That I go to every year, and it's basically you would, you would definitely like it. It's all metalheads that cook chili, yeah. and then you get to all, we all get together and test them and all that. Oh, but no, I, it's Eli runs that. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, I have an open invite to that, but I'm just busy every time it comes up. You should definitely go. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We had like um, I actually won a chili cook. cook uh, the first time I entered entered a chili contest in Richmond, I won. Really? Yeah. I wish you would have brought some for me because I would. Yeah, I haven't made it since. Yeah. It was the first time, only time I made chili. You made it once and it was yeah. like the winner. Yeah, and I, yeah, I think I think uh, this first year I went, my, Mike from uh, Monstrosity won the won the chili competition. He had never made it before either. Oh, really? Yeah, that's great. Oh, nice. Very random. Um, what's the biggest misconception of drummers? How? How so? That's what I'm asking you. What do what do people say about drummers that's not really true? Oh, that they don't run any music. That's probably completely untrue. It's definitely untrue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people, drummers have left out publishing and credited for not being able to do anything but play a beat. But as Dave Lombardo said perfectly in a Modern Drummer conference years ago, like that riff that people write ain't going to go anywhere without your beat. That's exactly right. So it's drummers are writers and contributors to music. All right, going back to food, because we, we have to wash it down now, what's your uh, favorite beer? My favorite beer? Uh, my favorite beer is Pest Mortel. Uh, it's a co fair trade coffee stout from Dio de Ciel from Montreal, Quebec. Ooh, it's yeah. awesome. But I never even heard of it before. It's really good. I like coffee but, stouts. Uh, the Three Floyds definitely are some of the best beers in the country for sure. Okay. They're making municipal waste beer, which I'm really stoked. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, they're making a, an, an imperial oatmeal stout 
called Toxic I Revolution. I love that. That sounds awesome. I like when, when bands can get interesting uh, merchandise that's different from the norm, like Cattle Decapitation with the Garbage Pail Kids cards. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, cool. I mean, that's awesome. Um, what is the worst nickname you've ever received? And why did they you get used to call it? me Shitty Witty in high school. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Well, how did you get that? It's just, just yeah. rhymes. Just, just yeah. Rhyming on your name? Yeah, people talk yeah. Kid, yeah. My name is last name's Rappaport, so you can know where they went to that. Yeah. Rappaport, Crappaport, uh, Crapper, yeah. Rapper. Yeah. Everybody actually making it was rap, and it was like really strange from a metalhead. Yeah. Um, if the Statue of Liberty suddenly became alive, would you bang her? <laughs> no, it's For your country? Big, man. Yeah, yeah. I need a lighter. <laughs> would that be patriotic or not? Yeah. Would that be like, I don't know. Maybe. That depends, man. Sure. I, don't I don't know what the patriotic answer is. Let's, yeah. let's skip this one. <laughs> what was your favorite arcade game as a child? Uh, Tempest. That's that. Tempest, good choice. Tempest and uh, what's that other one? Berserk. Yeah, you ever played Robotron? No, I haven't. Oh man, it's awesome. It's like just like you're in this and it gets getting tighter and tighter, and there's like nine million robots and it's like totally claustrophobic trying to get out. Oh of really? That's shooting cool. in all different directions. I'd probably think that. How long do you think um, you can hug a man for before it starts becoming uncomfortable? Uh, it depends on who it is. That's right. I can. I got all day, man. I can take my clothes off. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. It's not uncomfortable yet. <laughs> no, I won. Nice. Okay. I guess the last. It was like eight seconds. It, wasn't it was. It was good. And it was. You were warm too. It actually felt good because it's cold out here. Uh, good nature. <laughs> exactly. I guess the last and the most important question I have for you is: Are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV, and why? Yeah, sure. It's it's from my home state, and you know, people that are passionate about music that care enough to care about what I'm doing. Why not, man? It's it's a great. It's an honor for me. It's an honor for people that like heavy music. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not the, the greatest talker in the world, but I love what I do, and I love when people are appreciative of what I do. It makes it all work for me, and I'm super fortunate to be doing what I'm doing. Yeah. So, Life's good. So now you're in about nine million bands. Do you have uh, any any this is any time to plug anything you want to plug or promote or anything right now? Websites? Uh, I'm working on a bunch of different projects that don't really have a name, and uh, I'm actually uh, there is one called Argonauts, which is the post continuation of Burnt by the Sun, so to speak. Oh, nice. Kind of a darker, heavier version of it, a little bit more groove based, laying back from the speed a little bit. Okay. And uh, it's my yin and yang municipal waste in that. Waste is speedy and, and fun, energetic, and this is down tuned and it's like kind of dark. And you know, I get the two different drumming styles, so it works, right. works nice for me. Anything else coming out or tours, shows? Oh, yeah, we're doing the uh, Anthrax was nice enough to invite nice. Musical Waste on the next tour in, in March, and it will be Anthrax, Exodus, Us, High on Fire, and Holy Grail. This should be a hell of a time. Yeah, but we you're playing the trash, right? If you go on the Anthrax website right now, you'll see our clip talking about it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. You got the highest praise on there. Oh, yes? Yeah, for me, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's cool. Great. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for your time. Yeah, yeah. Still, thanks for climbing the fence. Yeah, sure. <laughs> thanks. Now, this hand. All right, hold on. You got on film, right? Right. Perfect. Now there's proof. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Rock on. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You got it. I'm not going to jump the fence again. I don't know.